what's going on youtube it is your boy josh back with another haircut tutorial and as you guys can see today we got a little wavy client about to give him a nice ball fade clean the beard up and line it up real good y'all about to see how we get down and if you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please make sure you guys go down and smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on too so you guys don't miss out on any new drops so right after getting the hair combed out, I'm going to come in with my one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed, going with the grain to knock off all the bulk that we don't need. And as I'm doing this, I'm paying attention to the way that his hair grows in different patterns so I won't gap him or anything. You guys want to make sure you pay attention to the small details when cutting hair because one mistake can cost the whole haircut. And as y'all can see, man, that one and a half got the waves popping. It got the hair laying down real good. And if you guys notice, after a couple strokes, when I go over the head, I always come back with my brush. The brush, it kind of releases all the hair that's already cut out of the hair. So it kind of lets you, it kind of resets the hair to let you know what's still there and what's already been cut. As soon as I get the hair cut down to the height that I want it to, I'll go right into setting in my first guideline, which is the ball line. And like I said, we're going to be giving him a high fade. So I'm not going to be dropping it too low under the occipital bone. I'm going to keep it kind of level with it, you know, right in the middle. And um, we're going to be doing that. So after I have the guideline set in how I want all the way around, I come back with my trimmers and I just clean up all this extra hair, making sure that I get all the hair gone. You want to make sure you get like literally every piece of hair because you want your haircut to be flawless you can't leave anything behind so this right here is something that i do that helps me when taking out that first guideline um after i'm done setting in that initial ball line i come behind it and i kind of taper at it with my trimmers a little bit it kind of breaks up that harsh guideline making it easier for the clippers to take it out but a big factor in this is making sure that your clippers are zero gapped because it's all in the way that your system is balanced so if your clippers are zero gapped you have the um, capacity to be able to take out that guideline with the clippers itself so using the trimmers making it even easier it just helps you out when taking out that first guideline and right here i'm setting in that first guideline with no guard on with the lever all the way open with my caliber um 50 cal bmg clippers going up about a half an inch and i'm making sure that i'm keeping the width the same all the way around um because i want my fade to be balanced all the way around on every guideline so right here i got the clipper with the lever um i think one notch from all the way closed and i'm just kind of going to be starting up under that guideline that ball line and just flicking up to the ball line and then once i kind of get it light how i want it and set it up for the kill i, sh I close the clipper all the way closed and it kind of just blends it out perfectly um it's just the way that i have these clippers set there's zero gap so i got a good system in between the notches and how to you know blade cuts and all you have to do is just understand your clippers and you can really do some dangerous haircuts So usually when I'm taking out this guideline, I kind of do a lot of detail work. So you'll see me opening and closing my clipper a lot, depending on the area, because sometimes the hair doesn't react to the clippers how it should. And you have to adjust it to get it. You know, you got to kind of get that detail work and do that corner blending technique. So right here, we're going to be jumping right into the next guideline, which is the number one guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm going to go up about, um, you know, a half an inch, three fourths of an inch. Like I said, we're going to be doing a high ball fade. So right here is going to kind of be the area where I kind of stop um, going fade, fading up. I'm going to start my fading down process after this guideline. But, you know, let's break this guideline down. And you guys remember to make sure your width of your guidelines are the same all the way around the head. You know what I'm saying? No matter where we at in the haircut, I'm keeping everything balanced because I want my fade to be consistent all the way around and on both sides. So after going in with the number one guard all the way open to fade out this guideline, I'm going to be dropping down to the number one guard closed. As you guys can see right now, I have the number one guard with the lever all the way closed. And I'm starting right up under the guideline and just flicking up halfway into the area that I went in with the number one guard open because that's going to create a transition. So it's going to transition down from one guard open to one guard closed. Then I'm going to end it off with the half guard and I'm going to go about halfway into the area that I did with the number one guard closed and that should create my blend. 
And like I said, right here, I have my half guard on. Um, usually when I start on my half guard, sometimes I close the lever halfway just to get an idea because sometimes different people's hair react to the half guard differently. And uh, sometimes when it's all the way closed, it cuts too much. It just depends on how fine and thin the hair is. But usually I always end up closing it all the way and I do like a lot of detail work. So now that we're done with that guideline, we're not going to be creating any more guidelines for the rest of this haircut. I'm just going to be fading down, starting right here with my number two guard with the lever all the way open. And the reason why I chose the number two guard all the way open is because on top, we cut the hair down to a one and a half closed with the grain. So when fading a ball fade into a one and a half closed with the grain, you usually want to go with a number three guard or a number two guard open. Just depending on the hair texture and i felt like a number two guard open was going to be perfect for him and it, and it came out perfect so i'm just going to be fading down from the number two guard then i'm going to i mean from the number two guard open then i'm going to drop down to the number two guard with the lever all the way closed and just go right back behind every step that i did with the two guard open but i don't go up as high so basically i'm just creating a transition So right here I'm going in with my number one and a half guard. Like I said, we're fading down. So I walk down from the highest guard all the way down to the smallest until the fade is completely blended. Um, right here I have it with the number one and a half guard all the way closed. And I'm just starting right up under the dark area and just flicking up to it. Basically the whole goal of down fading is coming behind the previous guard but not going up as high. So basically you're leaving the hair shorter and shorter and shorter as you fade down which creates your fade. So that's why I follow my guards in a systematic step because it helps make the haircut so simple. That's why I go from two guard open to two guard close to one and a half open to one and a half close to the one and to the one guard open and it just blends the whole haircut together perfectly. So we're almost done with this fade. Right here I'm going in with the number one guard on with the lever all the way open. And I'm just trying to blend right up into that one and a half area. Cause we've gotten to the bottom of the, the fading down process and we're at the area now where we want to make the fade come all together and do all the detail work that we need to do. And you guys, to be honest on some clients, you might have to put in a little bit more time on getting certain lines out. Like right here on some textures of hair it might fade right out you know what i'm saying everything is just perfect and sometimes you can follow the exact steps and there's like dark spots here dark spots there so you have to spend a lot of time really opening and closing the lever um you know getting in certain positioning in some parts of the fade to make it blend because some hair is just stubborn sometimes Y'all see, man, this fade is coming together nicely. I mean, look how smooth it is. We're not even done yet. But, I mean, just really listen to what I'm saying, man. Y'all can learn something. So, right here, I'm going to be doing some more detail work. I'm going with the grain with, a, with the one guard open across the front of the hairline to help prep for the hairline. And also right on the edge of the fade so I can connect that side a little more. I don't like that dark heavy area right there. So I'm going to do a little bit more detail work just to get that looking like how I want it. But other than that, man, we, we mostly done with this fade. So right here, what I'm doing is I have the babbler's guards and I'm, I'm going in with the number two guard with the lever all the way open. Then I'm going to close it and then I'm going to come back with the, the one and a half guard with the lever open and close it. Basically, um, instead of using the wall number two guard, I'm using the babbler's number two guard because I feel like the wall number two guard is kind of thicker. So I, I did that and then I came back with the um, one and a half babbler's guard. That's the original one and a half I used in the beginning, but it kind of just made the fade come out way smoother like I wanted it to. But y'all see the fade, it's looking good. Now we're gonna move into the beard. I'm gonna pick it out. We're gonna be knocking it down. Then we're gonna show y'all how to do a beard fade. So 
So I'm knocking this beard down to a number three guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm just going to go with the grain. And when I go under the neck, I'm going to go against the grain a little bit just because some of the hair grows in different directions. So when I'm doing my beard fade technique, it's kind of similar to when I'm doing my fading down technique. I start with no guard on, then I close it halfway to blend out that guideline. Then I pick up the biggest guard that I need at the bottom of the beard, and then I fade up towards the top of the beard by getting smaller guards, and it creates a fade. And if you guys notice, the smaller the guard, the higher I am in the beard, because that's the fading zone for that particular guard. So right here I'm going to prep the hairline with some holding spray and come behind it with the blow dryer to get the hair to lay down and lock in where I need it to. And you guys using my Babyliss Low Pro FX trimmers with the gold FX blade on it. I'm going in and I'm setting in that fire lineup. I'm going to sit back and let you guys watch this lineup unfold the haircut. Sometimes when the hair acting funny I got to grab the head a little bit to get that pinpoint lineup that I need because sometimes the hair acts stubborn and don't want to move so I got to kind of keep the head more still. And y'all we're keeping this lineup all natural it's already coming out clean let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. So right here we're going to be jumping into the beard line and this is going to be super satisfying to watch how clean these lines came out and how uniform it made it look all the way around. So we got my guy all lined up from the hairline all the way to the beard. You know I had to come behind it with that razor to make sure it's sharp to a T, man. We need it smooth all the way to the skin. Um, like I said, all natural cut, man. The fade came out crazy. We got the waves popping on top. But I let y'all see the before and after at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I, I really hope you learned something. And I love giving y'all these videos and giving out some free game and some entertainment to some people. Make sure y'all leave a thumbs up too, man. Leave some comments on the video. Y'all know we had to get my boy right. He came in and said, y'all need this beard chopped down. I need the crispiest fade you ever did. Y'all know he came to the right spot. Check him out. Y'all know I got my dog turned up, man. Fade crispy, line crispy. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this haircut. And make sure if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, you subscribe and you turn that notification bell on. Leave a thumbs up on this video too for the algorithm so I can keep growing. And you can follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber like you see on the top of the video. Peace.